This is the solution to written homework 33. Okay, so part A. So we've got x is 1, and x is 2, y is 4, also have the parabola y is x squared. Okay. So when x is 1, y is 1. And when uh, x is 2, y is 4. Okay, so then the only uh, region bounded by those pieces is this region. Okay. So that's the region in question. <clears throat> and B, it says to rotate this around the y-axis. So this question is a little different than the previous ones uh, because the previous ones were rotating around the x-axis but we want to rotate this around the y-axis so the picture now looks like this so there'd be a One and a two. There'd be a negative one and a negative two. And there'd still be a four. see something that looks like this. So we'll have this to here. And we'll also have the reflected here to here. And then what we'll see, we'll see this uh, sort of bowl if we're looking at it from the, a top vantage point. So something like this. And we'll see, uh, we'll see this. But in the top, we'll see this hole. So that's a hole. And this cylinder has been cut out. In the end, the reason why it's cut out is because this here is a gap. And that gap is being rotated around, so the shape uh, looks like that. So the question is, is uh, one question we need to address is, well, how low uh, does this shape go? So it goes up to y is 4, and you can see that it goes down to y is 1. So this here is 1. <clears throat> and what I would like for you to see is that the shape in question is sort of the, the subtraction of two solids. It's this solid 
So this solid without holes in it, and then minus this solid. That's the shape. <clears throat> As for the volume, well, mm, the volume of this one <clears throat> will be an integral, but because because we're rotating around the y axis <coughs> pardon me because we're rotating around the y axis that means that this will be an integration in dy so the so we don't need the x limits we need the y limits so this will be from 1 to 4 1 to 4 and then pi times the radius squared so the question is is what goes in here what goes in here, and then dy. So it's dy in the end because we're integrating around the y uh, axis. It's because we're cutting it into cylinders going up. And then the question about what goes in here is we need to figure out what is the equation of that as a function of x. Well, uh, sorry, we want it an equation as a function of y. So it is y is x squared, but rather we want to solve for x And doing that, you get x is the square root of y. So it would be integral 1 to 4. Uh, that's got to be pi times radius squared. Pi times uh, square root y squared dy. <coughs> Well, square root y squared, that's just y. So this would be pi integral 1 to 4 y dy. And then that's y squared over 2. I'll factor out the over 2 to be pi over 2 y squared, and then 1 to 4. So that's pi over 2, and then 4 squared minus 1 squared. Well, that's 16 minus 1, that's 15, so 15 pi over 2, 7 and a half pi. So that's the area of the big uh, solid. And then the area of the little one, the cylinder, the gap cylinder inside of it, well, if you insisted on integrating, the integral would be... <coughs> Uh, the integral from 1 to 4 and then pi times the radius squared but the radius is 1 so pi times 1 squared uh, dx so that's a particularly easy integral but after all this is just a solid uh, cylinder so it's pi r, the volume must be pi r squared h I can see that its height is 3 and the radius is 1, so it's 3 pi. Okay, therefore, 
the volume, the answer to the question is this minus this. is seven and a half pi minus three pi, so four and a half pi. Okay. 